well-policed hoardings give him some respite from the crowd. They disappear and he'll have uh, more friendly faces and slightly fanatical ones as well to deal with before you know it. And here we are. Uh, time to start bouncing. Time to start going. Dan Martin goes over to the side of the road and it's him that's going to start this one off. Gutsy performance by the Irishman. Away he goes. What's the response? Perito decides that uh, he might try and join the party. Uh, Rigoberto Oran, also the Colombian, just gets to the centre in the uh, darker uh, jersey. And there, of course, naturally enough, Fabio Rue just chasing on behind uh, Alberto Can Contador. And you can see as well, the red jersey is not too far away. Dan Martins decided to go for a brave one from distance and how much will he be allowed? A minute and 34, don't forget. He's bouncing like a good and Sean. Well, there, uh, there is unfortunately for him a Katusha train that's just about, looks like it's uh, on rails as we stand. And around there with Contador and Valverde. And I'm looking for Froome. There he is, just behind Kenick. And uh, now there's some hurt being put on and Kelderman is one of those being troubled right now and uh, whoever was with him is uh, just in arrears. I think that's Robert Jacink. We're guessing, to be honest. I still haven't seen that number uh, to confirm that it is Robert Jacink. If it is, then all the better. Uh, suddenly hugging the barriers and uh, the pace is still high, but suddenly the Belkin boys as well just re-knit themselves onto the back of this little push and it's, uh, it's straining down there. So is this man, 1.4 kilometers. He's got five or 600 meters to go before he can start thinking about glory. But look at the time. Two minutes and 50 was his deficit. We think he can manage with two minutes and 40 plus the 10 second bonus. And that's, of course, if no bonus is taken by Valverde, who still looks strong and he's here. There's Chris Froome at the back of that line of about 10 riders, as you see. And it's uh, damage limitation for those just off the back of that, including two of the Belkin boys, one of whom is definitely Wilco Kelderman. Perito with uh, a teammate helping him out. There's Quintana as well, just looking nice and relaxed. There's Oran. And indeed, uh, it's uh, Moreno who's uh, setting the tempo for Perito right now. But it's all about winner and Kona. He's going to win, but what's going to be the margin? Three minutes and three. Look at the clock going backwards, Sean. Can he take the lead as well as the stage? No, I don't think he's going to do it. We can see here um, Katusha starting to push on, push on the pace and uh, Moreno you know, on the front here is not going to slow down from this point because when you come oh, in and Contador puts Contador in the attack, so he's it's, had enough. it's not going to be enough for him to take the uh, overall lead, but he will take the stage. But he is on a mission and here it is right now. Who said that this man was out of form? He's absolutely found it at the right time and now he's gapping some very, very big names, some important ones. And this is a crucial one as far as the overall lead is concerned. And look at it tumble to 50. Now he's got another 18 seconds back to Contador, don't forget. He sits back in the saddle and starts powering on. He's thinking to hell with all of this and he's using others as foils along the way. He's eating up those ahead of him. This man's eating up the ground but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Maybe it is. We'll find out. Don't forget, he hits the respite section that 2.5% uh, earlier than anyone else. 800 metres now for Anacona. I don't think he's going to take the lead but he may well take uh, the stage win. He might get both, but at the moment, Contador is spoiling his party, and that's Quintana who's decided to head off, and Valverde can't respond. That's Chris Froome coming up alongside in the white uh, combined jersey towards the barriers. They're fearful more of what Contador is doing than what Anacona could do. Yes, well, I think, uh, of course, Valverde is going to wait and you know, see who's going to chase down here, but uh, we can see Rodriguez... Uh, um, pushing on here. It would be interesting to see can Contador continue because he is quite a, quite a bit out. We can see here, you know, the uh, the winner of the stage, Ancona, you know, coming up to the 400, 300 metres to go, but will, Valver will uh, uh, Contador have enough to hold off being chased down by Rodriguez and uh, Quintana at the moment? Well, this is a fantastic piece of uh, cycling effort by winner Anacona. He was a brave man. He went for everything. The jersey, 
as well as the stage win. And he knows that seconds count, and that's why he's out of the saddle and riding on. He needs to stop looking behind and start punching the air, and he does. Splashed by the commissaires alongside him. And those crucial seconds of celebration might well count significantly. We'll see how close he is to the jersey. It's Perito that's bridging over to Alberto Contador and looks behind. There are your time gaps right now. Rodriguez, 45 seconds down. That's of no consequence. But Contador could be going into the leader's jersey as well if um, Valverde has been gapped here by more than 18 seconds because he's going to be thinking about a bonus perhaps. Uh, we've been winding in those who've been in the break. And look, the alarm bells are going off here, Sean. Yes, well, I think for uh, Valverde, but Quintana, we can see here, he's, uh, of course, ahead of Contador in the general classification at 15, Contador at 18. And we can see, I think, Quintana has still got something left in the tank. He should be able to close down on uh, Contador. He looks to be starting to struggle a bit. And uh, as we can see, Quintana just uh, in the wheel of Rodriguez at the moment. Quintana. It does not like explosive climbing. He likes a sort of steady, uh, steady as you go, but long and very difficult. Uh, this man, though, Alberto Contador, proving that he's still got a few bottoms to let off. And my goodness, he has unseated, unpinned one right now and chucked it behind him. Now, these guys, will they possibly just bridge this gap? They're helping Quintana here towards the jersey, we think. Let's have a look. Uh, Bertie knows this, and he's on his metal right now. He's had a look behind him, but this gap looks inexorably like it is closing. And it's Rodriguez and Moreno that are, that are bridging over um, to him right now. Contador out of the saddle. This is a man, don't forget, with a knee infection, a broken leg as well. Wow, he is back, most certainly. And it's going to be minor um, positions for those behind him. Contador is heading for a, a real, real bite out of the cake as we stand right now. This is a phenomenal performance by him, and that's why the cameras are dwelling upon him, Sean, not surprisingly. Yes, well, of course, he's one of the big favourites. We can see it's the Katusha rider, Vol Volganov, who was up in the breakaway, has pushed on a lot here. Now we can see Rodriguez takes it up with uh, Quintana in his wheel, so it's not going to be enough of an advantage for Contador. It's Quintana who will move into race leadership. Wow! Quintana just does bridge over and bridges himself into the red jersey. I think possibly helped by Rodriguez along the way there. Uh, we'll get our finishing positions, but now this is also important. And Valverde pings out and goes to the opposite side of the road, and he wants to engage in a sprint. Aru goes with him, the young Italian. Uh, Chris Froome can't respond. There will be a gap, perhaps. Just a second, maybe two at the line. Dan Martin comes across the line, and so does Uran at that point. Some very tired bodies amongst the main body of the peloton, which has been cast asunder on this final climb. What a day. Great win for winner Alicona. He went for the entire package. Well, he's got a, he's one present down, I think, from the party. Nonetheless, great racing yet again, and some big, big contenders have unfortunately just been found out on this explosive test right here, and Belkin are going to be wound-licking as well, Sean, today. Yes, and uh, I think uh, some of the more bigger favourites will be wound-licking. We could see there Froome coming over with Valverde, with Valverde Dan Martin also in that group. Um, losing roughly about 21 seconds i reckon on uh, quintana so uh, and of course uh, rodriguez and uh, contador so you know see the big favorites from losing a bit of time there to the other main big favorites well it's going to be a long old wait before they all come in today and uh, it was all down to that massive breakaway kicking over